Oh wait, chest? Fine. Man, I hate that lucky cards were nerfed. Lucky cards being nerfed was honestly a mistake. The only value they're gonna get from me is if like there's a trophy for getting to a certain level and I have to use them, but they, they feel so like they, they feel like they lost their value. The fact that you have to use it on like individual characters. Kinda lame. I can only avoid so many encounters. These stupid little merits. They're just gonna keep using amnesia on me. has it. Nice. Just kill. I was worried we would run into another problem of someone getting it in the battle ends. Bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna actually try going this way instead. Oh wait, no, there is no other way. That was just to solve that puzzle. I'm always thinking to myself, I want to run from this one, but then it takes me like two seconds to remember that I can't run. <laughs> Quite literally. At least not yet. According to what people in chat were telling me. Get wrecked. Also, I want more guardians because I have, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone has like all their personal skills at the max. I want more guardians so I can make use of the PSS system. Some more. Perfect. Keep your amnesia. Bum bum bum. You have some items to equip if you want to use SP? What are you talking about? Oh, I have these growth eggs too. Speaking of. Pacto XP consumable? That's neat. I'm not gonna use that right now, but neat. That's Virginia's memento. What is- what's MTC again? It's under vitality, but what does MTC even mean? something the game didn't explain to me like at all <laughs> yeah this is something the game should have explained to me because again there's no there's no equipping in this game but this is basically the equipping but I do not recall the game ever telling me about this Power cancel reduces the inertia cancel cost to zero. I'm sorry, what? What the heck is inertia cancel? 
I'm putting this memo pen on you. Yeah, that would have been a good thing to explain, Wild Arms 3. Just saying. Fiery Rage. Base Lord. What the heck does this even do? Someone tell me what this does. What the heck is inertia cancel cost? What does that even mean? You choose to de equip an item, it's lost forever? Why? What? I hate that. Alright, well. Starting to. There's little things in this game that I'm like, why would you do this? In Wild Arms 3, I'm, start, I'm starting to question things. I'm not equipping that, especially because you told me they go away. I'm not equipping that until I like have a full understanding of what it does. Die. There's a Godger. If you press O, you could re-enter your action for some FP. I still don't understand. I'm gonna hold off on it for now. Why, dude? I didn't want to do that battle, but what choice did I have? It's fine, you don't have to apologize. I am confused, but you know. But at the same time, I'm not going to equip it unless I have a full understanding, or maybe not. Maybe it's not that useful. Where am I going? Surely somewhere here, this path. I do like that it shows you how much ECN you take if you were to skip an encounter. I'm getting really tired of these enemies. Wild Arms 3 is a good game so far, but there's so many baffling decisions where I'm like, why? First of all, escaping being locked to a medium is dumb. The uh, accessories breaking when you de-equip them, also stupid. That's ignoring the search system, which is the elephant in the room, but there's other things in it where I'm just like, why? Why would you do this? Get wrecked. Actually, have Jet do it, because Jet is gonna go before Clyde. I was really hoping you wouldn't hit Clyde. Ba, ba, 
on. Bum, bum, bum. Nope. I, I, yeah, I went up here, but maybe there's like a path I can take. I didn't take before. Paralyzed Jet. I was wondering why Jet's little thing was squared out. Yes, Pixie Dust heals. Pixie Dust. Why does Pixie Dust heal? Paralysis. Alright, it's not like Paralysis gets rid of oh, crit from Gallows. That's funny. No, no. We're not opening that chest. I cannot take any more amnesia. Oh, Paralysis just goes away. Nice. Thank you, Media Vision. Okay, we jumped up. We jumped that hole. That that button. It opened the door. There's this lever. Oh, I have to lower it and use the switched off from the thing. It's that obvious. I think in my brain I thought that I did this already and I couldn't reset it, but that's very wrong. You can obviously reset it. This game has some bizarre status ailments. That that's not a Wild Arms 3 exclusive thing. That's Wild Arms in general. Also, status ailments are a common part in, like, any RPG. This game has other questionable- I'm not gonna say bad, because I'm, like, barely 10 hours in the game, but this game has many more questionable decisions than the status ailments. My biggest head scratcher is why would you make run an unlockable thing? Like, I get it, you have the ECN, so you have some control, but even still. That's such a mind boggling decision to me. I mean, other than the fact that they wanted to, like, pad the game, and the game is probably already plenty long. Because it's a Wild Arms game. Wild Arms 1 took me like 30 hours. A little bit more for the Platinum Trophy. And then 2 took me like 40 hours. Still working on my Platinum for 2. It's going to be like a little, like between 40 and 50 hours. Give or take. Pop on. This is a really nice area. Nice green we got here. Break. I'm gonna wait till we get an encounter and then I'm gonna grab those. Another duplicator! Love to see it. I honestly rather use Clive instead of pick all these up, to be honest. Get wrecked. Dumb. Great. Another Gimmel coin. Oh, and there's a switch up here. I didn't even notice. Like, can I even, like... Yeah, I didn't think so. These pillars are interesting. And there's also that switch. 
are there no encounters here? I have not seen a single encounter. Can I boomerang this? No. Okay. Not really sure what the game wants me to do here. I burn this grass? Nope. Oh, you know what? I probably have to use the crates and throw it into the prisms. They had a puzzle like that in Wild Arms too. I think it was the Telepath Tower in 2. I just remembered Telepath Tower in Wild Arms 2. I probably gotta do something like that. I'd be willing to bet. Can I hit this? There we go. Is it gonna reset though? Okay, no, it's not. I think it's gonna stay. Do I have to hit those two though? Whoops, this is better. Are you kidding me? Still got it over. There we go. Oh, those light these up. Okay. That's not at all what I expected. Now I gotta find a way to get that one to light up. I don't see another prism here. Boom. Oh my word, I keep moving my analog stick just a little bit to the left. Okay, no, that one's already hit. Is there like another prism I can hit? Also, there's no encounters here, I'm just taking these. What's this? Door lock? Yeah. I only guess that I have to somehow light that one. Maybe I have to do this in a different order. Maybe I have to do that one first and then the other one. Or this, whatever that is. That's probably just a broken pillar, though. Oh, this stays? So, like, what do I do now? weird. Maybe I have to hit that red one. Bum, bum. I even like... He's like so close to reaching it. Maybe I can hit... Maybe? Nope. Gotta be another which I can do because now it's stuck like this. Can I like, hit anything? I'm so confused. gotta be another switch or something I can do to reset this. I 
it's hitting it dead on, but it it's not nothing's happening. really confused. I legitimately don't know what to do because now I can't reset the puzzle and I don't see anything else I'm supposed to hit. <laughs> 